Hello everyone and welcome to this preview of Ivanti Patch for Windows. In this video I will be demonstrating how easy it is to use the many different features of the program. So let's get started. Ivanti Patch for Windows is a multifunction tool that enables you to easily perform patch, asset and power management tasks and more on the physical and virtual machines in your network. In this video I'll start by demonstrating how easy it is to use the patch management feature. I have predefined a sample machine group that contains four test machines. Starting the scan is as easy as selecting the group, verifying the scan template that you want to use, and then clicking Scan Now. You can monitor the progress of the patch scan using the Operations Monitor. During the scan, the program will check for and download the latest data definition files. It will locate the target machines and access them using credentials that you provided. And then it will scan the machines using the rules defined by your scan template. When the patch scan process is complete, you can view the results by clicking View Results. The top pane shows the machines that were scanned, and the middle pane shows the patches that are missing on those machines. I can sort the middle pane using the Affected Machine Count column. Several of the patches are missing on three of my test machines. If I select one of those patches, I can view information about it in the bottom pane. I can see which three machines are missing this particular patch by selecting the Affected Machines tab. If I select a different missing patch, I can see that the same three machines are also missing this patch. Let's select both of these patches and deploy them to our three test machines. When you initiate a patch deployment, the Deployment Configuration dialog is displayed. This dialog enables you to specify how and when the patches will be deployed. For this tutorial, I'll elect to create the deployment package and download it to the three target machines at 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. I'll then schedule the deployment of the staged patches to occur later that night at 10 p.m. The operations monitor shows the status of the steps in the deployment process. The patches are first downloaded to the console. The deployment package is then created and scheduled for deployment to the three target machines. At this point, from the console's point of view, the deployment is complete. The patches have been staged and scheduled for execution. If you want, you can use the deployment tracker to monitor the status of the actual installation on the target machines. And that's it. That's how easy it is to scan for and deploy missing patches. Ivanti Patch for Windows also contains a number of other easy-to-use features. For example, let's perform an asset inventory scan on our sample machine group. To begin, let's take a quick look at an asset scan template that I pre-configured for this video. The template enables you to specify which assets you want to scan for, and it enables you to specify if you want reports to be automatically sent and to whom the report should get sent. For this demonstration, I'll use this sample asset scan template just as it is. There are several ways to initiate an asset scan. One of the most convenient places to initiate a scan is from the home page. First, select which machines you want to scan. Then, on the Asset Inventory tab, 
Choose which template you want to use to perform the scan. I'll select the Sample Asset Scan template that we looked at earlier, and then I'll click Scan Now. As before, the Operations Monitor is used to track the status of the asset scan. When the asset scan is complete, the results can be viewed from within Machine View. The Software Assets tab and the Hardware Assets tab are used to view the assets of the selected machine. For example, here are the software programs that are installed on the machine. And here are the hardware assets that are contained on the machine. There are several different hardware categories to choose from. Next, let's take a look at the power management feature. This feature enables you to control the power state of the machines in your organization. The primary reasons for using power management are to prepare your machines for maintenance tasks, reduce power consumption and noise, reduce operating costs, and prolong battery life. The power management commands can be initiated from either machine view or scan view. Use the right-click menu to view the power management options. You can immediately restart, shut down, or wake up machines. You can also schedule a power task using a power state template, and I'll have more on that in just a bit. For now, let's perform a power status scan on the selected machine. This is usually a pretty quick operation. As you can see, in this example, our test machine is currently online. You can also perform a number of power actions using a power state template. A template gives you greater control over the actions that are performed, and it also enables you to schedule a power task. Let's take a quick look at a sample template that I created for this video. Here are the different power actions you can perform with the Power State template. Let's leave the shutdown option in place and use this template to schedule a shutdown of our test machines. Changing the power state of one or more machines is a sensitive matter, so the program will issue a message asking if you are certain about your decision. We are, so let's keep going. In this example, for our three test machines, let's schedule a recurring shutdown operation that occurs every Friday night at 8 p.m. The Operations Monitor will show the status of the request. And here we can see that it has been successfully sent. In a real-world scenario, you might consider following this up by scheduling a Wake on LAN request to wake up the machines on Monday morning. The next thing to demonstrate is the IT Scripts feature. This feature enables you to run a variety of scripts on the console and on your target machines. The first thing you must do when using the IT Scripts feature is to approve the scripts that you want to use. This is done using the Script Catalog Manager. Each time you access the Catalog Manager, the program will automatically download and import the latest scripts that are available, and that's what you see happening here. All available scripts are displayed in the top pane. If you select a script, details about it are displayed in the lower pane. For example, here are the details for the Get Reboot Time script. And here are the details for the Check Disk script. 
Only approved scripts can be used within the program. For this tutorial, let's approve the Get Reboot Time and Check Disk scripts. This is a key security feature, as only those scripts that you approve will be available for use within the program. I can illustrate this by returning to the home page and running a script. Note that only the two scripts that I approved earlier are available for selection. Let's select the Get Reboot Time script and watch it run against our four test machines. And, just like that, we know the last reboot dates and times for our test machines. To see the detailed output for your scripts, you use the IT Scripts Results view. All actions that I've shown up to this point have been performed agentlessly from the console. It's important to know that many of these same actions can be performed using agents. Let me open a sample agent policy and show you what I mean. An agent's actions are defined by an agent policy. You can define some general settings, as shown here, Plus, you can specify if you want the agent to perform a patch task, an asset task, and or a power task. Once the agent policy is defined, you simply install it on the desired agent machines. The agent installation process is covered in a separate video, but I can show you what it looks like after an agent is installed. On the console, you can see if a machine contains an agent as well as some details about the agent. Let me slide to the right so you can see all of the information. And here is what the agent program looks like on an agent machine. Finally, it's important to note that Ivanti Patch for Windows enables you to create a large number of different reports. There are too many options to cover in detail in this preview video, but let me quickly generate an executive summary report to give you a feel for how easy it is to use the reporting feature. After a report is generated, it can be exported to a variety of different formats. In a different area of the program, you can also schedule reports. This enables you to automatically generate a report at some point in the future, either once or on a recurring basis. And that concludes this preview video. Note that I only covered the major features of the program at a very high level. For more detailed information about any of the features, See the other videos available on this channel or visit our product documentation page. Thanks for watching.